Now, when I first began DJing, and we're talking decades ago, they didn't have MP3s. There was no such thing as uh, Spotify, no iTunes. They didn't even have CDs yet. <laughs> Back then, when you played your music, you did so on vinyl records. And uh, the well-equipped DJ would hold around all kinds of crates of albums with him, just to make sure that he had the right music for his audience. And I gotta tell you, that was a chore. Those crates got heavy. I do not miss lugging around all that vinyl. But what I do miss, though, is some of the incredible artwork that certain artists or record labels would create to put on that album covers. It was absolutely amazing. In fact, I brought along a few examples here that I want to show you. Now, uh, these are a little smaller because I remember bringing the big albums. Some of them were bold but rather basic. Others were a bit more surreal. Some of them were downright bizarre. But many of them became iconic classics of pop music that we all recognize to this day. Now, as you can see, I have, uh, I have albums from the 60s. I have some 70s. I have some 80s, I have some punk, I have some grunge, we even have a little country here. Unfortunately, I don't have a whole lot of current music, mainly because I found it really hard to put album covers on MP3s. But we're going to try a little experiment using some of these musical images. But to do so, I'm going to need the help of someone here in the audience. Now, this person should have kind of a, an appreciation and perhaps a little knowledge of the music from these different eras. Maybe somebody who had a record collection when they were growing up. Anybody here like that who uh, likes music, who has an album collection? Who would like to help me? <laughs> Why? Okay, come on up. What is your name, sir? Chris. Chris, come on up, Chris. Let's give Chris a round of applause. I want you to look them over. You bet. I'll, I'll ask for them back later. But uh, if you need time, look them over. Make sure that, first off, they are all different and uh, that maybe you recognize some of them or hopefully most of them. Okay, go ahead and sit down. And uh, in a minute, I'll have you make a selection. Now, one of the other traits or abilities that a DJ acquires over the years, or that you should acquire, is the ability to be able to sense the kind of style of music that his audience is going to enjoy listening or dancing to. It's called reading the crowd. And to do so, you basically observe your audience. You look at their dress, their age, their demeanor, their mannerisms, how they interact with each other, sort of like DJ profiling. Now with a large group, it's fairly simple because there's a fairly wide range of musical styles represented. But as the group gets smaller, it becomes more and more difficult, down to the point where trying to ascertain the musical preferences of a single individual can become quite a challenge. That's exactly what we're gonna try and do with uh, Chris here. Chris, did you get a chance to look them over? Uh, yes. Good, here. and hopefully you recognize them? Yes. And they are all different? Yes. Good, Chris, here's what I want you to do. I want you to look through those uh, images again. I want you to select one that has a personal meaning to you. I'm gonna turn my head away to make sure I don't see what it is. Now it could be, say, uh, an artist of one of your favorite uh, groups, or maybe it has a song on it you like, or maybe it has nothing to do with the music. Maybe it's just the image itself you like. But for whatever reason, select one of those cards, hold on to it, place it like under your seat so no one can see it. Let me know when you make your choice. We're good. good. <laughs> Would you pass up the rest of the cards? We don't need this anymore. Thank you. All right, good. So you have made a selection. Yep. Now, Chris, I want you to do here. Look on the back of that card. You're going to see a list of uh, album titles. Some of them are going to be fairly well known, some of them are not going to be as well known, but what I want you to do, Chris, is I want you to uh, call out each one of those album titles, and we're going to see how many people here recognize those albums or those artists. Now, do me a favor, don't just list them off top to bottom, just put them in whatever order you want, but uh, call them out one at a time loudly so everyone can hear. Go ahead. Um, Pet Sounds. Okay. Born in the USA. Alrighty. Come on over. Okay. Rio. All right. The Gambler. Good. Rumors. Okay. Uh, Bad Out of Hell. Uh, out of the Blue. Out of the Blue. Okay. Um, thriller. Nice. So 
Bohemian Rhapsody. Okay. And Sergeant Pepper. Sergeant Pepper. Okay. So hopefully you all recognize some of those album covers. Mm -hmm. Some of you yeah. didn't. Yeah. No. Sorry. <laughs> hey, Pet Sounds was the Beatles. It was '60s. Never mind. <laughs> One of my favorite albums, actually. They were great. Uh, all right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and see from observing you. Now you've noticed I had Chris come up here. So I got a chance to, to look at his gait, his demeanor, look at his dress. I asked him what he did for a living. That didn't help one little bit. <laughs> but uh, from those particular uh, questions and observations, I'm going to try and see if I can ascertain the album or the artist that you selected. First off, Chris, you did not choose a rap artist, did you? No. No, I didn't think so. Actually, that was easy. I didn't have any rap artists in that group. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I got to start somewhere. But also, you did not choose a country artist, did you? No. No. Now, tell me, Chris, uh, do you listen to country? Do you like country? Is it something you... Uh, a little bit. Not a little a bit, but not a, real, not a real favorite. Okay. So you didn't choose country. Now, let's see. The selection you made was actually an individual artist as opposed to a group. Is that correct? Yep. It is an artist. Okay, I think... Boy, hmm. <sighs> Tell me, Chris, it was a male and not a female artist, is that right? Yep. Okay, just wanted to be sure. Uh. All right. Let's see. Jake, would you hold that for a moment, please? Good. I have made a selection there. So now, Chris, for the first time now, would you name for everybody out loud the artist that you selected, please? Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. The album was Thriller. Thriller. Excellent. A hot, really, really, one of the most iconic albums. One of the biggest selling albums of all time, not let not alone the 80s. Jacob, would you open that up and tell them, show everybody what I wrote down there and say it out loud? Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. <laughs> 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 